Welcome to the Eastern Civ Podcast at the Historian's Eye. Please subscribe, and if you'd like to be notified when new episodes are released, click the bell icon. Legalism in ancient China was a philosophical belief that human beings are more inclined to do wrong than right because they are motivated entirely by self-interest. It was developed by the philosopher Han Feizi, who lived about 780 to 233 BC, who drew on earlier writings of the Warring State period of China by a Qin statesman named Shangyang, who died in 338 BC. Even though legalism during the Qin dynasty resulted in a huge loss of life and culture, it should be remembered that the philosophy developed during a time of constant warfare in China, when each state fought every other for control. For over 200 years, the people of China experienced war as a daily reality, and a legalist approach to try to control people's worst impulses, controlling people through the threat of severe punishment for doing wrong, would have seemed like the best way to deal with chaos. Shangyang's legalism dealt with everyday situations, but extended to how one should conduct oneself in war, and he is credited with the tactics of total war, which allowed the state of Qin to defeat the other warring states to control China. Legalism became the official philosophy of the Qin Dynasty from 221 to 206 when the first emperor of China, Shu Huangti, rose to power and banned all other philosophies as a corrupting influence. Confucianism was especially condemned because of its insistence on the basic goodness of human beings and its teaching that people only need to be gently directed toward good in order to behave well. During the Qin Dynasty, any books which did not support the legalist philosophy were burned, and writers, philosophers, and teachers of other philosophies were executed. The excesses of the Qin Dynasty's legalism made the regime very unpopular with the people of the time. After the Qin were overthrown, legalism was abandoned in favor of Confucianism, and this influenced the development of the culture of China significantly. Legalism holds that human beings are essentially bad because they are inherently selfish. No one, unless forced, is willing to sacrifice for another. Morality was of no concern to the legalist philosophers because they felt it played no part in people's decision-making process. In legalism, Laws directed one's natural inclinations for the development of all. Legalism was practiced through enacting laws to control the population of China. These laws would include how one was to address social superiors, women, children, servants, as well as criminal laws dealing with theft and murder. Since it was a given that people would act in their own self-interest, and always in the worst way, the penalties for breaking the law were severe and included heavy fines, conscription in the army, and being sentenced to years of community service building public monuments or fortifications. Other philosophies which argue for people's inherent goodness were considered dangerous lies which would lead people astray. The beliefs of philosophers like Confucius, Mencius, Motu, and Lao Tzu, with their emphasis on finding the good within and expressing it, were considered threatening to a belief system that claimed the opposite. Zhou Dynasty, from 1046 to 221 BC, slowly began to fall apart, and the separate states of China under its rule fought each other for control during the time of the Warring States period. The seven states of China all believed they were fit to rule and replace the Zhou. These states battled with each other again and again, but none of them could gain an advantage over the others until Yan Zhuang of Qin adopted Shangyang's philosophy of legalism and warfare, which was total war. The old rules of chivalry, which Chinese armies had always considered, were ignored by the Qin as they crushed one state after another. When the last of the free states was conquered, Yan Zhang declared himself the first emperor of China. Zhe Wang Ti, the emperor, advised how well legalism had worked for the Qin in war, and so adopted it as the official state philosophy in peace. In their Shi Huang Ti's reign, those who broke the law, even through minor offenses, were sentenced to hard labor, building the great wall or the Grand Canal or the new roads of the Qin Dynasty required for moving troops and supplies. Legalism remained in effect throughout the Qin Dynasty until its fall in 206 BC. The Han originally kept a form of legalism as their official philosophy, but it was a much gentler version than the one of the Qin. The Emperor Wu 141 to 87 BC, finally abandoned legalism in favor of Confucianism, and also made it illegal for anyone who followed the philosophy of Shangyang to hold public office.